Stitch Bird. This week is all about knitting and crochet. And I managed to finish one of the projects that I've had on the go for a wee while and I'm thinking we're already starting to get some of that lovely weather outside so I better get these items made up. We've got about 17 degrees today, it's beautiful and sunny outside. Anyway, the first project that I managed to get finished um, last week was this gorgeous wee crochet snood. And how it is made is all done with treble crochet. And you have a row of straight treble. The next row you're doing two treble, missing two with a ch two chain, then another two. That's what creates the lacy holes. This is in a, a fine alpaca wool mix. And um, I made mine a little bit longer because I just prefer them longer. I think the pattern, it probably comes up to about there, but also I thought I could go twice and just got a, something nice and warm around my neck. And it's not real heavy, so I could just wear it like that as well, just under a jacket or just under a top like I've got now. So I'm really pleased I managed to get that finished. Anyway, on to the next thing. Before I get to my next project that I started again last year, I want to tell you about the Peppermint magazine. I've wanted to get a copy of this for quite some time. And when we were stuck in Sydney the other week, I managed to pick up a copy from the airport. I was so excited. I've seen it digitally online, actually through the library, but I am definitely thinking about subscribing. I really like the philosophy behind the magazine. It's about um, ethics, sustainability, caring for environment, that kind of thing, slow projects. And usually, or well, in each issue, there is a free pattern. So you actually get the pattern uh, here, but I believe it is available digitally as well. But it's quite nice to have the pattern. So this um, issue, it is called the Tansy Top. Uh, and it's got information about the pattern there. It's really got some interesting things about our planet, about some artisans, that kind of thing. And the other thing that I discovered is also about the Finders Keepers marketplace. And there is a market in Australia that goes around. And I'm thinking about going to the Melbourne one at the end of the next school holidays. It'll be great to see all the crafting projects and things over there. So I do re recommend that you have a look at it. It's got some really interesting um, things. Here's another pattern, um, a wee swing dress. So yeah, really cool. And you know, some advertisements from some suppliers. And there's anything from gardening to stitching, vintage. This is how to put a bow on a shirt. Very cool. So I'm going to look at seeing if I can subscribe. They've actually gone down to two issues a year just with the current financial environment, I guess. So yeah, that was a bonus, getting that. Right, the first pattern, I just want to grab my item. I actually made this last year or the year before, but to be fair, I haven't worn it that much. But since I'm talking about knitting and crochet today, I thought I'd mention this. Now this is uh, Marigo Rios and some people love them, some people don't. I chose it because I really loved the colours. Look at the beautiful colours through the yarn. It is nice and cosy. The only thing is it does ball up a little bit, although to be fair this hasn't been too bad. And this pattern is in the Marigo Rios book 10. But you can buy the pattern on its own. I think it's only about $5. But all it is, and it was a very easy knit to do, is it's just one long strip. So if I hold this up, so you've got a cable at each end, and it's one long strip that goes right around and down the back. So the back is actually joined across and down, like in a Y shape. So when you put it on, I'll put it on. I'm wearing the right colour top today. 
through with it. So there we go. So it just sort of goes to there and then I'll show you the back. And it's just really cute just to throw on with jeans and like I'm wearing with a t-shirt top. I'm wearing the Arlington today by Love Notions and really pleased with it. So it's a stunning piece and I believe in some ways I'll have this for years to come because it sort of won't date because it is quite an unusual piece. And it's just really swishy, really cool and warm. So that's my first piece of knitting. So moving on from this, I thought it'd be really cool to have kind of like a vest type piece. So the pattern that I'm making at the moment is the cane by Uska. I don't know how you say that, Uskula. Anyway, I've made a great start on it. I'll put the picture up, up there, but anyway, this is it here. And you can wear like a t-shirt top underneath. It's meant to be fairly loose fitting. And you start from the top down, which I haven't done one of these patterns before. And so initially, and I've got it half made here, I'm hoping to get it made in the next week or so, depending. Sorry, it's a bit of a spaghetti here. So I've started at the top and it's got a wee round neck and around the neck I'll pick up the stitches and do ribbing. And I'm just knitting down, from, I've split off now and you knit the front and the back separately. So I've already done the, I can't remember now, I've done the front or the back. I've done the back, so I'm just knitting down the front now. And once I've got the armholes, you then join it back up to a circular needle again. I invested a year or two ago in the system that has the little, um, the pins that connect onto the cables. And I'm really pleased that I did because to be fair, knitting right across this width on two needles would have been a nightmare. So what I've done is I've turned my cable needles into single needles, put a wee stopper on the end, and then the other end I just use as an ordinary knitting needle. So I've got the other cable, I think I'm here, have I? Uh, maybe I haven't. It's somewhere anyway. So I just made another one the same, and then I just knit like their two knitting needles. And then when it comes back to joining it up, uh, I've already got it on the wires, so it's going to be easier to connect back up. And I've just realised my little cone has gone off, and I'll have to find that. So I put the little wee cone um, on the end to hold the stitches on. But anyway, it's a really pretty colour, and I think it's going to go with denim, all my bright colours. So hopefully I get that made in the next week or so, because I want to get the use out of it for spring especially just as an extra wee layering piece. So I'll be able to show you that when we have that finished. So um, apart from that, I'm going to be making some bags for my nieces. And I'll just um, stop here and I'll go and get Right, I'm back. I found the fabric and also the gorgeous pink weaving that I'm going to use for the handles. So I'm going to make them this style of bag with the drawstring around the top. But they've told me they want them a little bit bigger because they want to be able to fit like an A4 colouring and book in. So I just need to make them a little bit taller. The great thing is they do have a base so you can fit quite bulky things in them. I may put a pocket on the inside but they're all fully lined. So um, what I've bought is I went to Spotlight and I bought this gorgeous butterfly fabric for the outside and one of them their request was hearts so i'm going to put the wee hearts on the top and the lining so that's going to be the the lining and the top part of the bag and with the pink webbing it's going to look so cute and the other niece wanted rainbow but she also wanted pinks and purples and she wanted stars so i found this really pretty sort of like mermaid style fabric and kind of a matching star fabric. So this is going to be the top in the lining for this bag. And again, with the pink handles, it will look cute. So I've got those to make up. 
and I've got some plans coming up again for myself. Now, you know, I've got a bit of nicer weather. I really want to get in some nicer colours. Sick of these dreary colours that we have in the winter. So something nice and bright would be great. And that's about it for this week. It's been a bit of a quick one. Just getting back into work again. It's taking up a lot of time, getting organised, doing a bit of prep. So I'm hoping that I can get back into my sewing again very soon and show you some of my new makes. So please subscribe and stay tuned and I'll have something for you next week. All right, bye now.